Do you guys ever get in a position where you have a ton of stuff to do in your build, but you're not sure what to do next or what to do first? I'm kind of in that situation, but we're going to fix that. I think I figured out a way to fix it tonight. Welcome, everybody, to episode 73 of Let's Build Minecraft. I've got a little bit of work done that we've done in streams. We expanded on this house a little bit. Um... Not a whole lot. I was kind of messing with the roof, trying to see where that would lay out. Something really cool, I think, with this house is... Well, we won't get to see very well from over here, I guess, because we don't have a wall. But um, something that I kind of thought would be cool when I was building this was if we were able to look over the walls and see bits of the roof peeking over. And now we don't have a wall over here, but it looks like we will be able to see that roof peeking over it when there is a wall. So I think... That's nice to have going for us. Uh, something else that I worked on, it was a new building. Uh, expanded this. So I, I added this little section here. I wanted some sort of outdoor section. I think having sections of houses that you are kind of like open to the outside are really immersive to have. So um, that's probably going to be, be a bit of a theme throughout the city. So obviously there's uh, the spot right there. That does the exact same thing. There's the spot right here that does the same thing. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. I worked on the road a little bit. We gotta move this. Definitely today we gotta move it because that's where I'm gonna be working probably. Um, then I added this. Now the roof isn't done. For those of you that haven't seen, I have already planned out three styles of roofs in, in this town and kind of helps define the look of each building and uh, you know by repeating these different color palettes we'll have a sense of unity as well but it won't be too repetitious um it's not done yet but it's birch and uh wheat but we come over here i really like this area because this tree is so up in the way now i wouldn't want this if i were building just this house out in the middle of nowhere like a standalone build i wouldn't want this tree here but it's not like that this tree or this house is one of a bunch of houses because there's houses here 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 everywhere so it's not that important that we can see every detail of this house what's more important to me is the immersion and you know do i have a way up here i do it actually looks kind of cool when you come up here and do i have a way onto the balcony i do not well, anyways, when you're on that balcony, does this go anywhere? Nope. Already lost, and there's already well, only one wall. When you're on that bal balcony, oh, there's a way up there. Let me just fly up there. <laughs> I am the cheatiest person. Uh, How did we get there? Oh, down here. I was like, what? <laughs> Back to survival. Yeah, when you're up here, you actually get a... Now, excuse that all of this is really ugly, but you actually get a really cool view, I think, from, like, right here. With the tree in your way and stuff. But yeah, today... So, I took the whole weekend off from YouTube, from streaming, from Minecraft, everything, because... Well, I needed it. <laughs> but, so today, I was like, I feel like building. I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'm going to make a, a video. Um, this should be coming out on Tuesday, so on Monday I'm going to make a video. But then I was like, I don't know what I want to build, because I don't really want to make a video just out of finishing the backsides of houses or something. That's like live stream work. Um, once I've made a video out of it, no point in making a second video on the same thing. But then I don't want to continue walls. Well, I realized something this town kind of needs to be centered around something, you know, like a town center. Oh, <gasps> yeah. That, so that's what we're going to be working on. Um, and, and what we're going to be focusing on today is a clock tower. And I've got a few ways to make it cool. I'm going to have to sleep here in a moment. Um, so something that I've been learning is references are your friend. Search real life references, Minecraft references. Don't copy other people's builds, but you can like, you can get inspired from them, and and I've definitely done that. 
Uh, sorry if you could hear really loud outside. <laughs> uh, so I've got a few references pulled up of of big clock towers. It needs to be really big. That's the thing because it needs to tower over our already large buildings. So I'm thinking it needs to be at least a good 10 blocks taller than the top of this roof. The clock itself. Uh, we'll plan it all out in cobblestone before we really get into actually building the details of it. This is one of those things that really, I think, benefits from being planned out. Like the rough shapes and everything. And another thing I want is I want it to be sitting on top of a building. So like the lower half of the... It's not going to be a standalone tower. It's going to be sitting on top of... It would be as if we finished this building and put right in this blank spot a tower but fit better that's not a good building to put on a better fit so i think what i'm gonna have to do is move this um if i'm thinking about the flow of the roads let's get up let's fly up again just to look at everything if we look at the flow of the road so there's a road that comes through this way um oh, let's go creative so i can see my cursor is that game mode one yeah so th if the road comes through here comes down and then maybe meets up here with this road um and this road can perhaps go this way along the yellow wall excuse me the yellow wall that we've already planned um i'd like to town center to be somewhat open so where this beacon is maybe a little bit open and i think if we build this tower right here and the building that it is on right here um i think that would be a good spot the thing is though uh i want to use up all this land so we either need to push it back to take up all the land or we're going to have to utilize the space behind it. Today's episode has changed a little bit. Now, it's about how to deal with a build that you hate. And I mean hate. Imagine you've never seen this city before. You find this bridge, you see these walls, everything looks really promising. You walk on through, you see buildings peek through. You keep going, you keep going, and you see this. Ugh. I don't even know where to start. Uh, okay, first of all, this all right here, this is this is fine. This can be salvaged. Um, it's kind of a placeholder anyways. Um, but this, now this isn't even close to done. I got to this point. I have about three hours of recording from the camera account that was supposed to make a time lapse. But I got about three hours in, and I've I've rebuilt this. I've built it, tore down, built it, re or not tore down completely, but redone multiple things, which is very annoying when you're in survival, building a tower 40, 40 freaking blocks off the ground. So this is not working. First of all, I don't like... Okay, this? What is this? I, I tried to go for some sort of like homage to the castle walls and incorporate the design and I think that was the right track I don't think I did it right this is like the base that you would see set into the ground this isn't something that would be sitting on top of a building this looks like it weighs 10 tons I I mean come on and then this I struggled with this a lot now I have like designs here that I worked out and I had it where I didn't have double pillars like this, and then I went to um, walls because these felt way too bulky, but I really don't like the use of walls and fences as details on the side of walls like that, um, or like regular walls, cobblestone walls on the side of these kinds of walls. Um, there was too much repetition with these windows. Everything about this clock tower, I hate. I hate everything about the actual clock itself, which I did in like two two minutes and, and decided this whole thing needs to be done. And I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of sat here just staring at it for about 10 minutes thinking, 
How am I going to get a video out today? This is awful. I can't make this into a video. This is this is never, ever, ever going to be up to the standard of the rest of the build, or at least what I hope the rest of the build is. I think all the rest of this, even this unfinished roof, looks a uh, hundred times better than this awful, awful creation I've made. Well, it turns out that this is the best way to deal with an awful build. I knew this would be salvageable, but I'm I, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. We still got work to do. It's not finalized, and there's things that I want to change. I'm waiting for it to get dark, by the way, and I have it on the uh, moody lighting. I don't know how well you'll be able to see on YouTube. I know videos tend to be a little harder to see on uh, on the YouTubes, but there's a little bit of lighting in the tower that I actually wanted to see at night. So let's walk on through. Now, ideally, let's grab a torch just real quick and place it up here. Because without looking, I want to know what all this looks like. We need to like focus the lighting in this place. So if I were to be here, see that's cool, having that lit up. I can only imagine with shaders. 1.12, please. Anyways, we walk on through, and the first thing that you see is that it looks pretty good. All right, let's go sleep. <laughs> Can't see anything, can you? <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, the design style was pretty much staring us in the face. I decided to go with the same style as these towers here, the guardhouse. Um, like I said, still got work to do. Like, let's see, I did this. I did this different here than on here, and I think it was better over there. But in general, it's kind of just uh, paying tribute to the style of the city and everything. I, I like to picture that maybe this was made um, after the walls and everything, and, you know, people admire the walls maybe, so they decided to make the clock tower in similar fashion. A few things I like and I want to point out, since I struggled with this so much, and I, I was honestly... Hello? My game just minimized itself. Okay, not my. I keep getting games minimizing themselves uh, this week, including Smite minimized itself a few times while I was in a match, and it's gotten me killed more than once. It's a little annoying. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, since I struggled with this, I know a lot of other people are going to struggle with it, and I looked on uh, Google to see if I could get some inspiration, and. To be honest, like 9 out of 10 clock towers I saw were really bad. Like, not very good. I think they're just hard to make, especially the clock itself is tough to make. Um, a little trick with that, however, um, with trap doors, you can actually, you know, it kind of sucks because you can only have it like going up and down and side to side. But if you do this... It kind of looks like it's not perfectly at the 15 minute mark. Maybe it's at, at like 14 minutes or something, you know? Eh. It's a stretch, maybe. I like the red in here, though. Um, even though it's really the only spot that we have red in this build, it's in some of the roofs, so it's not like way out there. Um, it is lit here. Something else I like, I didn't have, so it gets uh, thinner in the middle. I didn't have that originally. It just looked too boxy. Definitely consider that change in, uh, in width. I did it over here, too, for, for a good reason. Um, ooh, I also varied the height of these pillar-type deals. Yeah, that could look good on there, too. See, I wanted to like make it similar, but not the same, but... I did really good on that, I think. I'm really happy with that gatehouse. Um I wanted to pay tribute to the walls in a less in a way that was like, okay, this is clearly borrowing details but not functional. With the crenellations, clearly not functional. There's a roof here. Um, but I'm not really happy with the roof. So that could maybe look better in red. 
but I'm not sure. Can you even see it from down here? A little bit. Like, I'm not super happy with it. We may revise that later. Um, another thing that I wanted to pay attention to was I wanted to make sure that if you were on the wall uh, with guard duty, that you could see the tower clearly. And I think if most most uh, houses and buildings are this height, then you're going to be able to see it from pretty much no matter where you are. Uh, if you're over here behind this building, you're going to have trouble seeing it, but just peek over this way a little and you'll see it, so it's not a huge deal. From up here, you can see it clearly. Um, from down here, everything is clear. You can see the clock face. I don't think I would want to go any shorter, but if we went much taller, it wouldn't be many blocks. I don't know. I think it's a pretty good height. Now, what I'm going to do down here is basically build up houses around it. Now, I was going to explain all this in a time-lapse style video, but I kind of scrapped it when everything sucked. Basically what I did, and you can still see um, remnants of it, um, I planned out this entire thing with cobble, just uh, doing the frames, basically making boxes where all of this would be. And it's a good idea to get to force yourself to create some depth and variation so you don't have a flat wall. So um, I removed the boxes now, but there were boxes that came out up in this way, um, which gives us this wall. And then the idea is that there's another wall back here that's not sticking out forward. Um, that's actually a part of this. So there would actually be a wall. The idea here was that this would be kind of like a, an area like this. Um, I, I really haven't gotten to it yet. Right now it's very, very open. It's probably not going to stay that open. But anyways, I think it's good. I'm Other than the roof, you know, we might be just better off completely removing the roof. Um, it looks a little silly, not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of the pyramid style uh, shape of it. So I try to round off the edges. I don't know if I like this little hangover deal here. Oh, well, those are gone. <laughs> and um, I didn't want to make it a uh, sharper cone either because I'm just not a fan of that style, really. That, that's just me. Um, but overall, I'm happy with the clock face and I'm happy with this. There could be tweaks that I could make. Um... Luckily, I didn't do all of the all of, all of the walls. That's not good. I didn't do all the walls, so um, we can make changes a little bit easier and not have to change all four sides. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.